Righto, tell the early champs and welcome to the show. So Intel's X299 platform has copped a fair kick in and particularly the i9-7900X just because how hot it is, how expensive it is, especially when you compare it to what AMD is going to have with Threadripper. But I just want to give you my thoughts on it. I've been testing it for nearly a week now. And what you'll see is that most people that have actually reviewed this have actually used the engineering sample. This is a proper retail OEM version. So this is what you're going to get if you buy it. Now there can be a lot of differences between engineering samples and retail version. Now I'm going to put it on air and pretty much everyone that I've seen that reviews it has also used it all in one cooler. So how does it go on air? You wouldn't think it would be any good for air because of how hot it is and the answer is yes and no. So I'm using the ASUS Prime X299 Deluxe motherboard. It's a fantastic motherboard. I will have a full review on that. I have a video on it already. You can check that out. But using this i9-7900X on air is possible. No doubt. Like if you run it stock, which has all cores turbo into 4 gigahertz and it will boost up to 4.3 gigahertz single core applications. It runs fine with an air cooler. You won't get temperatures over 55 degrees and it's very silent too. You can actually tune the fans where only under full load can you hear the fans and even then it's not that bad. Now I use an Octua cooler. It's a fantastic cooler. Very quiet so even under load it is very hard to hear. I'll leave links in the description to all the stuff I use in this particular build which I will have a video about soon. Now when it comes to overclocking it is a different story. A lot of people were able to overclock the 7900X to 4.6 gigahertz with all-in-one water coolers. Now some people like the Bauer were able to get 5 gigahertz. I suspect that would have been a cherry pick engineering sample maybe. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But most people could get it up to 4.6. Now I can get this up to 4.6 no problem. But when you put load on the CPU, bang, it will just hit 100 straight away. Like it will start throttling. It just, yeah, a get away from 4.6. You cannot do it on air. 4.5, you can do it. It will reach 100 degrees, of course. It will start throttling every now and then, but it's doable at 100 degrees and pretty much 1.2 volts or 1.225, something like that. So I definitely do not recommend it even at 4.5. 4.4, the same. It still gets up into those 90s with the fans flat out. So I don't think 4.4 gigahertz all cores is any good. So after many hours of testing, like I've pretty much gone through every setting, every frequency, every different scenario, and by the way the ASUS overclocking software is fantastic it will give you a great baseline and then you can start tweaking from there now initially when I used the ASUS software it gave me 4.5 gigahertz because it thought my system could handle that well it can handle it but under full load yeah you're getting those temperatures just way too hot 100 degrees forget about it but 4.3 gigahertz yes this will run 4.3 gigahertz all cores and you can boost up to 4.6 gigahertz single core and it won't run over 80 degrees. It'll run about 80 degrees, which is pretty good for air cooling, I would say. And what's genius about this motherboard is you can do per core overclocking. So I can go into the BIOS and select the two cores that Intel selected as the best. I'll put them up to 4.6 gigahertz and then I change all the other cores to 4.3 gigahertz. So all cores, it'll burst to 4.3 3 gigahertz single threaded applications it'll boost to 4.6 and that's stable no problems on there 80 degrees yes it does get up to 80 degrees maybe up to 85 max that's as far as you can go now you could go up to 4.4 and you'll be in the 90s 4.5 you'll be getting up to the hundreds so yeah it's up to you it is stable at those frequencies 4.5 4.6 it's stable it just throttles that's all it does it just throttles it doesn't crash or anything so for me when i've done the benchmarks 4.3 4.4 4.5 really i'd rather just have a quiet system so i just left it stock seriously i just left it stock because it's super fast enough this is a game changing cpu in some ways because it gives you the single threaded or gaming performance of a 7700k but the multi-threaded performance of a 6950 so there's no other cpu that can do that can give you multi-core and single threaded performance there is no cpu 
you as good as this when it comes to that. Gives you the best of both worlds. So a lot of people are canning it, but I think it's probably the best processor out there. Yeah, all right, the thread rippers will come out. I love the thread rippers. Don't get me wrong, I really do love what AMD are going to offer, but it's not going to have the single threaded gaming performance of this, like 7700K gaming performance. So this is fantastic if you want to stream and game at the same time, whereas thread rippers just crushes this with multi-core but single threaded or gaming you can't come near it so it is what it is although i do think that thread ripper is a more interesting platform and i will be covering that so anyway can you use air cooler with the i9 7900x processor yes you can stock your system will be super quiet on there no problems 4.3 you're going to hear it a bit more you're going to be 80 degrees above 4.3 gigahertz then you're just going into the super hot 90s hundreds and throttle it so if you want to overclock more than 4.3 gigahertz you're going to need an all-in-one water cooler bare minimum but for me i just love quiet pcs so i just leave it stock and i cannot even hear this pc even under load it is so quiet so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're new around here why not subscribe i'd like to really thank you guys for watching and until next time guys tally ho